Hey guys, in today's video we'll be learning how to play Duncan by Paul Simon. We'll be mainly following along to the San Francisco demo version of this track, which is just Paul Simon and his guitar. I'll put a link to it in the description. I definitely recommend giving it a listen. And it just has a little bit more interesting guitar part to make up for the fact that there aren't the other instruments present in the full track. Um, I'm assuming you know how to Travis pick for this song. If you don't, uh, either check out a video on Travis picking and come back. There's one on my channel or loads of other great ones out there on YouTube. Or um, you can strum along. If you're strumming, I'd probably recommend just in the, like a down up, down up, down up. And try and, I mean, it's up to you. I would play with more of a softer sound, so I'd probably try and use my thumb, but you could use a pick or use your nails if, to strum mm -hmm. however, you, however you want. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the structure of the song is just like five verses or something, lots of verses, which should mean this is a nice short video because we only have to learn a verse and that's it. I will just quickly note that the full track begins with this inversionary E minor chord that uh, isn't present on the San Francisco demo version. It's a bit of a horrible inversion, but there you have it. Um, if you're interested, you've got a D minor um, slid up two frets, so D minor, D sharp, minor, E minor, uh, shuffling the fingers around there, like so, and then dropping in the first finger. And then picking uh, like four, three, one, two. Uh, na a bit of a nasty inversion. Um, hard to play, a bit of a stretch. So feel free just to miss that out. Like I say on the San Francisco demo version, Paul Simon doesn't do that and go straight in with an E minor. So you'll be child picking on an E minor or strumming, whichever. And uh, if you're child picking, try and make it interesting. Uh, alternating bass, you can use. Um, E string, a bit of an offbeated thing, offbeat thing. And yeah, the singing is going to start, and we're going to, the chords we'll be playing are D minor, sorry, E minor, D minor, uh, each for four once the singing starts, I think, and then G for two, A for two, uh, D for two. So just to show you. Couple in the next room. Uh, so the lyrics, um, couple in the next room, bound to win a prize, going at it all night long. And then for the next bit, we just alternate between a C and a G chord, two beats on each. I'm trying to get some sleep, but these motel walls are cheap. Lincoln Duncan is my name, here's my song. And then to a D, here's my song. Apologies for the singing as usual. Um, and yeah, that's the verse, and that's the whole song. So we could, if you just want to know the song, there it is. I'll just play it from the top for you one more time. Couple in the next room, bound to win a prize. She's been going at it all night long. Well, I'm trying to get some sleep, but these motor wars are cheap. Lincoln Duncan is my name, and here's my song. Here's my song. And yeah, the guitar part's the same for all the verses. If you want to see how we can go further with this um, and make it a bit more interesting, this is where we take inspiration from the San Francisco demo version. So to begin with, um, he just slightly alters the pattern on the and first E minor, like the introduction. Rather than doing a full Travis pick, he does, uh, like he misses out some, I don't know how best to describe it, I'll just play it. So that's basically skipping out the um, the third, third string, like uh, six, four, six, two, four, six, four, six, two, four, six, four, six, two, four, six, four, six, two, four. But still in Travis picking rhythm, it's still Travis picking, um, just missing out the uh, yeah, missing out the third string, um, and that's going to allow you to build the intensity of the song a little bit as you add in more notes, kind of build up the volume uh, as you go. Okay, so that's first change. The D, I think it, like just Travis picking on it and again making it interesting if you can add a little offbeat strum that's great. The counting for those kind of offbeat picks or strums is um, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and. So pluck the root for half a beat, strum for half a beat and then just carry on Travis picking like normal. 
Uh, now, first interesting part, from the G to get to an A, uh, he does a little walk down, remember on the G for two beats, uh, so normally you would be hearing this root note G twice, one, two, A, um, but he does an interesting walk down via an F sharp, so Travis picking six, two, four, three, and then uh, going to F sharp in the bass, six, two, four, three, going to an A in the bass, because uh, just onto an A major, six, two, four, three. Uh, and then back to the D. So, with his changes. Couple in the next room, bound to win a prize. Been going at it all night long. Well, I'm trying to get some sleep. Alright, and similarly, walk down. So, yeah, C, C, C over B, G. So, C, C over B. Uh, you just were going from ring finger, third fret to second fret on the fifth string. Uh, G. Like so. Um, and yeah, just making it a bit more interesting, giving the bass something to do. Um, another thing um, that he'll do at some point, I'm sure, is just include this like high E string. I overdid it a little bit there, you get the idea. A bit over exaggerated. Um, and again, just gives. Okay, now we've got something interesting going in the bass with the C over B. We've also got something interesting going in the higher parts of the guitar part with this like uh, E, G, E, G thing. Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch more different variations of things you can do. I would recommend you try and work some more out for yourself. Um, and even if it's not something that Paul Simon does in the demo, but think you might sound, you think might sound good, then try and put them in. Uh, for instance, there's a walk up from a G to a C chord you can do. Uh, a pretty common one. Uh, so the notes for that, sorry. Uh, so G, I'm just looking at section two, but any note in the G chord works. Um, then second string, first fret, and fifth open. And then. Uh, Dropping the pinky on 3rd fret 2nd string and putting the uh, the pointy finger on 2nd fret of the 5th string and then onto a C. So you, it makes sense that, that that's like a common walk up, the bass is going G, A, B, C, so like it kind of, kind of makes sense. Uh, so you'd be going C over B, C, C over B, G, strum, on. I mean, that, I don't know if that would work in the context of the song. Uh, maybe it would work if you only did it occasionally, um, but something to think about and have a play with. Uh, and try and find some other walk-ups, maybe some that you've learned from other songs that you think you could apply to these chord changes. Like for me, this uh, G, F sharp, A with a new walk down. I haven't seen that before, but I'm gonna, definitely gonna try and incorporate it in some other songs that go G to A, because I, I quite like it. Um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below or any other suggestions for ways to decorate the guitar part, leave them down below. I'd be definitely interested to have a read of those. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more songs you'd like me to do tutorials on, also let me know down in the comments below. And have a great day.